just... Ooh, is there still someone in here? It's my boyfriend. Okay. You need to take him now. Oh, you want to show me Charges. What's that mean? Criminal it's a jail. Ticket. Jail. Jail. Criminal charges. I'm saying jail. Yeah, criminal charges. You have to go to circuit court. Criminal charges. What? Yes. Teenagers nowadays think because they're young, they can say and do whatever they want without getting punished. But what happens when these teenagers come face to face with the law? Here are nine of the most shocking cases I've found when entitled teens realize they've been arrested. What's your address, Cody? It's not important right now. It is important. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter to the situation that we're okay. talking about. I know. I love you, dude. But, hey. Cody, just, what's your address, bud? Hey, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to give that to you. Starting with 19-year-old Cody Patrick Peters, who on March 7th, 2021, was driving at a high rate of speed before it crashed, rolled over, and landed upright where Campbell Road came to a dead end in La Crosse. A frightened passenger in the vehicle, alarmed by Cody's reckless driving, called 911, prompting officers to arrive and assess the situation. Are you the caller? Uh, no, she is. I was just... Okay. I just came back. You're the driver? Okay. Why don't you sit back here, okay? Yeah. You were driving? No, I was not driving. Okay. He's uh, he still. I've been. You need to take him. He's... Ooh, is there still someone in here? It's my boyfriend. Okay. You need to take him now. Guys, why don't you wait on the sidewalk? No, okay? I'm not leaving him. You no, need... no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help him out. He's okay. He's What's okay. his name? Cody Peters. Cody. Cody. He is okay. It's okay. okay. But yeah, I don't. Just wait I'm not. Right I'm just... not leaving him. Cody. He's really drunk. Okay. Cody. Cody. What's up? Are you injured, bud? No. Let me just sneak up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bud. Like just wait right here. Wait right here. He needs to go. Yep. He's yep. really go. drunk. Here. We're, in. We're out with uh, all, all three here. Everyone says they're he fine. We got a DUI last Cody. June, oh. July. Okay, listen. Can I, can I no. Negative, all three are out. Man, why don't you wait over by the sidewalk? I'm not leaving him. Yeah. You good, dude? I'm yeah. good with him. I'm good with him. Yeah. Cody. Take her back. Okay. Just. Here, lean back here, bud. Lean back here. Okay. Cody's vehicle had struck a large landscaping boulder and dislodged it 150 feet from its original position before stopping over the dead end. Luckily, they both survived. For someone who had a previous DUI, he sure hasn't learned his lesson about drinking and driving. Soon after, the police began to ask questions. Cody? It's not important right now. It is important. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter to the situation that we're okay. talking about. I know. I love you, dude. But, hey. Cody, just what's your address, bud? Hey, dude. Yeah, I don't. I don't have to give that to you. So, uh, Cody, how much are the drinks tonight? Um, honestly, not enough to for you to pull me over. Okay. Well, that's that's not the an answer. How much did you drink tonight? Um, to be honest, about two out of ten. Two out of what? Two out of ten. Two out of ten? Yep. <laughs> that means two out of ten alcoholic drinks? Sure. And what were you drinking? Um, whatever will make your notes better that, I guess. What's up? Whatever will make your notes better, I guess. Well, I'm just asking you. Just, hey, whatever will make your notes better and get an arrest, buddy. I'm just trying to, I'm not trying hey, to put words into your mouth. I know, I know you're good, but what will, what will ever get an arrest in your mouth, buddy? Just give it to me, all right? Okay. How fast were you going? I don't across remember, here? man. Just whatever you have going into your notes. I want to go to school okay. and I want, I want to make and money. What's too. a contact number for you? I don't have to support that with you guys. Okay. I low-key, honestly, I... Loki, I respect you guys. No, I do, I, I do, mean, I do, okay. But we don't do handshakes okay, with cool. COVID. Cool, so. thanks, man. Hey, just, you're just right. smacking. Any, I have not for... Any drug use drink. tonight, Cody? No. Any prescription medications that you're prescribed that you've taken no. the last 24 no, hours? No, that I can give you guys. Okay, so right. drinking? Yeah, I was just drinking. Okay, do you feel impaired right now? No. You don't feel impaired? No. no. Throughout the encounter, Cody denied being impaired and refused to cooperate with the police officers, even when everything he did was right in front of him. As a result, the officers suggested that they do a field sobriety test, but things didn't go that well. And, and then, at that point, after that, 
Would you be willing to do the Sin Heightsfield sobriety test? I'm not going to do any kind of sobriety test you two have for me. Okay. So, you know, based off of my observations, the vehicle crash tonight, I do want to do the standard field sobriety test. I can't force you okay. to do them, but it's your opportunity to show me that you're not impaired. Right? Would, I, would you be I low to do key them? think that I have zero opportunity to show this in front of you. Okay. So, are you refusing all field sit, field tests? Cody, wait. I'm talking with you. So I know. Just talk with me. I, I it's a simple you. question. It's your choice. I know you're talking to me, but here's the thing, though. You got that guy, that guy, that guy, okay. and whoever in front of me so right now. Just keep your hands out of your pocket. Don't pat him down, okay? Pat, pat me. All right. So, would you be willing to do the field test? I'm not gonna lie to you, no. Have you ever done one of these before, Cody? Yeah, been there a couple times. Cool. Just search. All you gotta do is take a deep breath. Just and search, dude. Well, don't even. This is just. A, you, I you, know. You want to just blow, blow through the tube here? No. We'll see where we're at. No, no, Mark. Okay. We're good. All right, place your hands on your back. All right. Your arms Refusing to take a breathalyzer, Cody was subsequently arrested and put into the police cruiser. Later, the police began to discuss their investigations, which would eventually expose Cody. Really didn't give me much information. She said that they were drinking um, at the bowling alley, and then they went to a friend's house and hung out there. He took the keys. He tried to tell her. She tried to tell him not to drive. But yeah. they both got in the car. He said she did. She said he did not say anything to him as they're driving. They just started driving all over town, and she repetitively is like, huh. "You need to stop. You need to stop." And then he just started driving Mach nine. He's been drinking too. She's cooperative, yeah. but she really wants to say goodbye to him. She's pissed. She wants to. They live together. She wants the key. They didn't have an argument though. That's the thing. She's like, okay. "We didn't get in a fight." There's no threats, no nothing. He just took the keys because he drives when he's drunk. It's like he phone. wouldn't say anything. She's like, she said, you need to slow down. All, the right. only thing he said once was, don't worry, babe, I got this. Yeah. Cody was later charged with felony first degree, recklessly endangering safety, misdemeanor second offense, drunk driving, second offense operating with prohibited blood alcohol content and operating after revocation. But it does not end there with entitled teens driving under the influence, as you will see in our next case. Oh, you want to choke? Damn, the out. Oh. oh, you want to choke me? Oh, girl. Do you want to choke me? On April 23, 2022, an 18-year-old girl was pulled over by police officers after they received a report of a possible drunk driver who was swerving into oncoming lanes of traffic and had struck multiple objects in Santa Rosa, Florida. How's it going today? Just a few here Yeah, what kind of errands are you running? You know, grocery shopping, killing bills, just adult, adult things. Yeah. So where were you coming from? If we're being honest, I am um, on the way to pick up on my friend and because like I don't like doing things by myself because I have anxiety so I like people coming on rides with me so I was going to go pick her up so I can go to the dispensary, get what I need and then bring it back home. Other than how slow and slurred her speech is, another officer joins them and notices something on her seat, prompting her to ask questions. Do you have a prescription for Xanax bars? No? Have you taken any? All right, hang tight. You can get some gloves because I believe they're sitting right there in the driver's seat. For me, it's pretty much stays simple to Ma'am, is your ID in your purse? Yes, All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hey, I said I'll get it. Stand over there at the end of your car. Do you hear me? Okay, but if you were more respectful about it, if I'm just saying, I'm just saying. All right, I'm if we're all humans here, if you were more respectful about it, I'm just saying. Where's your ID at? 
Is it in uh, here? Can I look for my wallet? Well, like, why oh, are you I looking got it. for my wallet? No, it. the thing is, if that's my property, you have no toys. Actually, I do, because I found friggin' Xanax bars on your driver's seat. If you want to explain something, explain those. Shockingly, the police discovered Xanax pills on the woman's car. Soon after, the police decided to search her car. However, the woman began to escalate the situation. Uh, I'm gonna get my phone. No, you're not. You're staying oh, right here. Okay, but why can't I get my phone to, like, at least have. You're my not getting own back in that car until they're done. Okay, but I feel like I should be able to. It's my right to, like, record anything that's happening in Everything's my life. Everything's being recorded right here. I know, but why can't I record it for myself? You're not going back in that car. But why can't I record You can request this recording. You can come with me to my car. My phone hey. is right on that seat. One of y'all can come to me to that seat to get my car. To let me videotape because that is my human right. That is the bare minimum y'all can do. So I can go to my. My phone is right there. Dusty, has your car always been like that in the front? Yes, I have. Um, yeah, honestly, okay. What happened first? Okay, see this part of my car? Right? I do. Um, one day I came back from work, like, just like... That was missing. No pillow hat was missing. It was missing. Um, this side of my car, uh, we have a Chevrolet truck that's in its vintage. Who's we? Like, it's my grandpa's like gotcha. old school Chevrolet truck. Gotcha. So it's like you know, it's a biggest truck. And then my grandpa got like a Jeep Cherokee mm -hmm. that's also just like built in the 1990s. And then they got a sidekick suit. Okay. Then, as the 18-year-old woman's story starts to look sketchy, the police officers decide to do a field sobriety test, believing she might be intoxicated with narcotics. When I got here, I saw your demeanor, your actions, and all that stuff. Okay. Um, now, when I talk to you even more and I'm looking at some indicators right now okay I'm looking at your pupils I'm looking at your eyes and I think that you might be on the influence of some type of narcotic not alcohol but I believe in narcotic okay um, so based off of what I'm seeing so far would you be willing to do a field sobriety test to dispel my suspicions that you're under the influence of any type of narcotic okay. you willing to do that yeah. After the young woman fails the test, the police officers wasted no time in putting her in cuffs. However, it didn't seem like she was ready to cooperate with the officers. Okay, wait, actually, uh, face the car. Stretch your legs for me. Face the car. Stretch your legs. Stretch your legs. was eventually put into the police cruiser and taken to prison. However, that didn't stop her from saying very stupid things and showing the kind of person she really is. Everything is gonna be fun. I'm gonna get bailed out. And girl, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a good two weeks dip out this motherfucking place, bro. 
I can't wait. So genuinely, genuinely, thank you. Thank you for letting me finally be free and giving me such BS of capitalism to the point where I'm just like, wow, I really, nothing really gives a f Cops don't give a about nobody, but to meet their f***ing quotas, and they pick and choose when they want to be nice, but like, at the end of the day, Oh, you're gonna tie me down, sir? Bro. All y'all wanted me is your fucking quota! Center of the unit 60. She was later charged with DUI of drugs and possession of controlled substances without prescription. And if you thought teenagers couldn't stop being dumb, that's because you don't know the case that follows. To 14. This is 19-year-old Jevin Burbach, who on October 1st, 2021, was stopped by La Crosse police who were on bike patrol for Oktoberfest after they noticed him immediately placing his can of alcohol in his right pocket. Not no, somebody stole my wallet. Someone stole your wallet? Yes, okay, you got all sorts of stuff in your pocket. Am yeah. I gonna find a wallet on you? I don't want you to lie and get more tickets. No, no, you can search me. I'll just, I got alcohol, that's about it. Okay. I'm chilling right here. Okay. Let's step across. Why don't you dump out the twisted tea real quick? How old are you? Don't lie to me. 21. You're 21. I was born okay. 6 25 99. Okay. I just wanna let you know if you're lying, you're gonna get extra tickets. So if you're 21, then. I'm not lying, look me up. Okay. That's after Jevin was approached, he denied his identity and started acting nervous, which made the officers suspicious of him. From Wisconsin, Minnesota. Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Okay. What's your middle initial? J. J? What's your last name? Burbach. Herschel. H. H. E. R. S. C. H. L. E. B. Immediately after the questioning officer turned around, Jevin decided to do the dumbest thing anybody would do after being approached by an officer. To 14. No, you're not straight. Stop. No, you're going to jail. Stop. You're going to jail now. Stop. It's being recorded. There you go. I'm not moving, y'all. 38 will take a transport van to 14th and State. We're 95 one time. Now you're going to jail. It was dumb. It would have been a ticket. Yeah, we don't care. We don't care. You're going to jail. I told you what I tell you. What I tell you, a citation. That's all it would have been. You would have got a ticket. And instead, you decided to run. Okay. Stop, yeah, I didn't have anything on me. Stop. I'm sitting. Bro, come on. Y'all are being aggressive with me. Taking me around anywhere. I didn't do anything. Yeah, well, now you're going to jail. DC, DC resisting, I, state I, underage I'm alcohol, arresting, state possession. Or, or, yeah, resisting. Since he was underage, he probably would have just gotten a slap on his wrist for drinking and told to go home. Instead, he attempted to escape, knowing fully well that he was wrong. But even after Jevin was detained, he still refused to acknowledge what he had done. So how much is underage? You're getting criminal charges. What's that mean? Criminal it's jail. Ticket. Jail. Jail. Criminal charges. I'm sitting in jail. Yeah, criminal charges. You have to go to the circuit court. Criminal charges. What? Yes. Why? Uh, disorderly conduct. Okay, come on, resisting guys, arrest. Three thousand no. kids here with beers, and you can't yep. me. Come and, on. And what, and what did we tell you? 
I said, it's going to be a ticket. Don't lie to me. And what'd you do? You so lied. It was a ticket. You would have. You, you, you lied to us. Yep. You would have got a citation. You would have been on your way, like we have with everyone else. We have it. That's been cooperative. That. But you decided to try to resist. Okay. So if I, and then how do I get out? How do I get out of jail tonight? Because I fucking don't live here. My parents are going to beat the out of me. Like, well, it, well, how do I get out? It'll be explained. Do I, do I pay my bond? He'll explain it. Yep. He'll explain it. In a bit. But right now we got a squad okay. coming to pick yeah, you up. It's, it's always funny to see people realizing they are going to jail. Then, after being put in the police cruiser, everything that would happen to Jevin was explained to his friend. Well, I don't even know what happened. I was just walking through. Yeah, well, I can't tell you what makes it's his business. Yeah, for sure. Needless to say, like I explained to him, we're dealing with lots of people. Yeah, people are yeah. part of yeah. that don't resist yeah. and don't try to fight with us. They get a ticket to get their own We don't even pay them all the tickets that we got. And he decided to uh, make some bad decisions. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. He's yeah. going to go down. Um, the officer's going to follow him down there, and depending on his cooperation level, we might just release him on a signature bond yeah. so that he can pay some money or doesn't have yeah, any pay money. Yeah, pay some money just, later. Yep, yeah, 100%. So, well, he doesn't have any money. He's just got to sign some paperwork and then. Uh, Okay. Jevin was later charged with resisting and causing injury to a police officer, disorderly conduct, and obstructing. He was also cited for underage possession and public consumption. However, teenagers trying to escape from the law doesn't end here. It gets even worse. <laughs> This is 18-year-old Dominic Glass, who on March 17, 2021, was observed fighting with another person in the sand, with both suspects having each other in headlocks on Lando Lakes Beach in Florida. When police arrived, they wasted no time de-escalating the situation. You're dumb! You should let go! Three people can't. Like, they want to fight. I don't know that. Officer, sir. Sir, sir. I was scared for my life. Three After separating the duo, Dominic was arrested and put into the police cruiser. Soon after, someone in the crowd did the unthinkable, leading Dominic to make very bad decisions. Thirty-three. I have his name, so let's get him. Hey, hey, you're screwed. Oh, why are you you're doing screwed. this to me, bro? You're so screwed. You're going to prison. His luck, however, was short-lived as he was quickly apprehended and put back into the vehicle. While many young adults here think this is funny, Dominic turned what would have been a very minor violation into one with severe consequences. Soon after, Dominic was confronted and questioned. I want my window so I can break. Oh, holy f bro. I told this yesterday, Officer Fowler, Dominic Glass, I'm almost 19 years old, you weren't... Okay, Dominic Glass. Close your phone. Oh, please! 
Hey, how's that hurt, bro? What other information do you need to get me out of this car and give me some air, boss? Where do you live? Where do you live? I don't have a current address. You don't have a current address? At the moment, I'm not living with my mom. So where, do you, no, I, where do you live? I don't know the address, boss. That's where I live with my mom. But I'm not living with my mom right now for the past four or five months. Dominic refused to cooperate with the cop and was later charged with escape, disorderly conduct, and resisting an officer. He was later released from the Pinellas County Jail after posting a $2,400 bond. A few days later, a TikTok video of his escape went viral, and a TikTok user commented that he had opened the door. It didn't take long before investigators were able to identify and arrest 18-year-old Adam Assad. He was later charged with felony aiding prison prisoner escape and misdemeanor resisting an officer. However, he was released a year later after he complied with a six-month pre-trial intervention agreement. But stupid teenagers doing dumb things don't end here. I didn't do anything. You're not free to leave. Why? I didn't do anything. 94, suspect resisting. This is 21-year-old Devin Knapp who on February 18th, 2022, was confronted after a caller reported hearing a woman screaming from a nearby apartment unit in La Crosse, Wisconsin. When police arrived, they encountered a woman with Devin. Devin started an argument, insulted her, and physically attacked her, including pushing, choking, kicking, and hitting her with a closed fist. Then, as soon as Devin noticed the cop, he knew he was in big trouble. And here we can see how this guy is only a big man with defenseless ladies and not with other men. Right there. 94, contact with two. Here. What's going on? Over here. Over here. Do you have your ID with you? Do you have your ID? You're not free to leave. I didn't do anything. You're not free to leave. Why? I didn't do anything. 94, suspect resisting. 94, foot pursuit. Head is westbound. 300 pearl. However, after a short foot pursuit, Devin was caught and apprehended. Oh, what? Why are you chasing me? Hold on, why are you chasing me? Hold on. You won't even tell me Get what on you your face. Hands behind your back. What's going on? Before I got him on the ground, 200 pearl. What's going on? You're under arrest! For what? Quiet! For what? For what? Please, for what? Well, I investigated domestic dispute. 94. What's going Female on? Female victim still in front of uh, incident location. Alright. Can you head up? Try to find the female. Where, where was she last at? Right in front of. Uh, she attacked me and I ran. I don't know why you're chasing me, so I ran. I'm scared of cops. I don't know what like, you wanted. What? I think this is good. Okay. okay. Separate your feet. They are. Separate yeah, your feet. They are. Right in front of the incident location. So. Spread your feet. Stop. I'm not doing anything wrong. I can stand here if I want. From Devin's actions, it is certain that he was aware that he messed up and attempted to flee from the police, hoping to escape. Unfortunately for him, things didn't turn out that way. The police officers then proceeded to put him in the police cruiser. However, Devin continued to be belligerent. Sir, why are you chasing me? Sir, why are we chasing me? Stop it. I'm just I'm listen. Not, I'm not the car here. Just the program. What program? What right here. Program? This is the program right here. Devin. Devin Knapp. Devin Knapp. You guys just target me for no Devin. reason. Just be cool, man, okay? I need my dog. Where's my dog? Alright. Where's my dog? Dude, where's my dog? Hold on, where's Devin. my dog? Where's my dog? Where's my dog? We'll let you know. Just go inside. Where's my dog? Hold on, hold on. Back off. Hold on. Just let me add where's my dog. Hold on. I don't know where your dog is. You let your dog go. Spit on me. You good? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. 
Devon was later charged in La Crosse County Circuit Court with felony counts of strangulation and suffocation, intimidating a victim, discharging bodily fluids toward a police officer, two counts of bail jumping, and misdemeanor counts of battery, criminal damage to property, disorderly conduct, and resisting an officer. I currently don't have further information on his sentence, but subscribe and I'll make sure to let you know. But it's not always teens acting stupidly, as in this next case, it's more about being reckless. Why is he going to the car? That's, that's his decision, man. Usually when people don't have registration or insurance, they tell him, dude. On August 7, 2023, this 20-year-old man was pulled over for driving a car without a license plate in New Mexico. However, his interaction with the cop led to the discovery of other crimes. Yeah, I pulled you over because you don't have a license plate, bro. Man, I just bought the car. From who? From uh, my or, grandma's Or how long ago? How long ago? A month, but I'm just learning how to drive it. Okay. And, I'm, and I literally just take this back to work and like back to work in my house. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate on that, bro. Yeah. You're going to work as long as you're... Yeah, being responsible. Yeah, being responsible. Uh, where, where are you coming from, brother? I'm coming from the skate park. Cool, cool, cool. Park. Where do you live at? I live over by uh, the Tuscany apartments. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you have your driver's license on you, man? I was gonna tell you I don't have my driver's license yet. I was, but I'm like literally having an appointment for the. How, how old are you again? I'm 20 now. Man. Uh, you should have one, right? Dude, I couldn't. I couldn't go to high school, or I couldn't go to high school because of my parents, man. And I couldn't go get all my license. At like 15, like all these other kids. I understand that. I get it. I get it. Uh, I'm gonna ask you another question, all right? When was the last time you smoked weed, dude? For some reason, the young man was not only driving without his plates, but he had no driver's license as well. And to top it all off, he was driving under the influence. For those who don't know, it remains illegal for anyone under the age of 21 to consume, purchase, or possess marijuana in New Mexico. You know you can't smoke weed and drive, right? That's a DWI, man. Yeah. And, and the reason I can, I'm saying that is I can smell it, right? And I don't know what... It's literally all over you. Or what's all that all over your shirt and your pants? Yeah, my life is so Okay, it's like it's all over you, man. Hey, <laughs> come on, dude. Yeah. Okay, so if you drink and drive, it's a DWI, right? If you smoke weed and drive, it's a DWI. They're both legal, you can't do them when you drive, though. Okay? So here's the, here's the issue, man. Your eyes are red, and you have weed all over you. And it smells like weed. Okay, we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna you're gonna have to get out, and we're gonna do some field sobriety tests. That by no means whatsoever does that mean you're going to jail. After questioning the young man, the officer then decided to perform some sobriety tests. Do you think your eyes crossed? Yeah, they, they did. did they, they did. They did. What does that mean? Uh, so that's usually what, what happens if marijuana is in your system, okay? Oh, okay? All right, so one more, okay, here's what we're gonna do now, all right? So open your mouth and stick out your tongue. All right. Now I'm gonna check your pulse real quick, all right? So give me your left wrist. All right, cool. What? All right, man. So a few yeah, things to explain to you, okay? So when you... Now. When you smoke black. weed, oh, believe it or not, man. your tongue gets green in the back, okay? You get some heat bumps in the back of your tongue, they turn green, okay? Your eyelids are shaking all over the place, okay? Your eye, you can't cross your eyes, they're red, smell like weed, you have weed on all over your body, okay? Your, your, the normal pulse is about 60 to 90 per minute, you're about 132 right now, okay? Yeah, so you're all over the place, okay? Yeah. Um, obviously, you weren't able to took your eyes off the pen a few times so you kind of forgot a little bit of the yeah okay I was a little nervous so I, so I take those things into account yeah. uh, but those are things that that's just the reality okay so you've been super chill with me I've been super chill with you yeah, but I have to let you know I got to take you to jail for DWI all right man really yes sir I know that sucks dude but that's just the reality okay all right but so, I can get I yeah can get someone go, get my go, car. Yeah. so go ahead and turn it around for me real quick bro wait wait how do I get my car we'll figure it out we'll figure it out I got I'll answer every question you need me to answer okay 
After confirming that he was indeed under the influence of marijuana, he was subsequently arrested and charged with driving under the influence, open container, no driver's license, no license and registration, and mandatory financial responsibilities. After the court proceedings, the 20-year-old was found guilty of driving under the influence and was sentenced to probation while the other charges were dropped. But teens being irresponsible doesn't end there, as is the case with Noah Betts. This is 21-year-old Noah Betts, who on May 23, 2021, crashed into a tree and fled the scene while intoxicated in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Soon after, police responded to the scene where Noah's car was after they got a report of a hit and run and wasted no time carrying out an investigation. Hello? Hi. Are they the ones walking that way? I, I don't know. I, I heard the accident. I was upstairs sleeping. Okay. And I heard it. You could hear him trying to leave. Yeah, trying to like spin the tires. Yeah, and then uh, the people down here, down here where they're standing out there, yeah. they were yelling up here at them like they knew them. Okay. Okay. I think the other officers saw some people trying to leave. So. All right. Well, I. Okay. If you need to talk to me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, that way? Yeah. Okay. Down there right now, there's some car right in the house. I don't know running. Okay, okay. 89 to 64. Okay. Witness said a male driver wearing a red shirt ran eastbound on Island Street. There two blocks east of Avon. Clearly looking at Noah, you can tell that he's drunk as he is visibly shaky and sweaty. But because he knew the kind of trouble he was in, he refused to admit to his crimes and continued to act stupidly. Get out here. We'll see you later. I don't think you can get through. Fit. This is my temporary home until I can move into my apartment. So our, my kids are squished in here. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, I'm trying to change. What are you trying to change for? Because I'm taking a poop. I didn't do nothing. All right, come on here and talk to us. Get out here. What's your name? Noah. All right, where are you coming from? Here? Okay, before this, man. That's it. How'd your hand get hurt? Do you need any medical attention, man? No. Okay. Get out of the way. What do you mean? No, 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 I'm fine. Why are you sweating so much? Because I'm just taking a it hurts. Okay. I gotta take it still. Alright. Can I go poop? Dude, no. Please? Baby! No. Come here, baby, please. Oh. Hold right. on, let me get dressed. This. Hey, get your. Hold on, I need to get dressed? Thanks for sharing. What the f Is there an issue? Yeah, we're looking in the yeah. right now. Okay. What, we're going to jail? No. Well, we what? Don't I just got out, don't bro. I just got out. Noah. Don't say you're going to jail. I don't have a car. I don't own nothing. No, I can't afford nothing. Listen to me. Okay, just stop. Give me Answer his questions. Give me kiss. I can't afford nothing. I can't afford nothing. I can't, I'm broke. Noah. <laughs> Contrary to all that Noah has been saying, his grandma stated he had driven at high speeds before heading west, disappearing briefly, only to return minutes later, running back to the house. Ultimately, this gave the officers enough reason to detain him. Oh. Right, Noah, you can put your hands on me. I'm home. Turn and talk to me. No, bro. Why, no. why are you so nervous? Because I don't think you guys, you guys took my dad for eight years. Okay, that wasn't me. No, him. it wasn't. We I don't know who you I dad is. I can't even hug. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I'm sorry. All right, so what happened? I'm just what trying to go to bed with my baby. What happened? Okay, what were you doing before that? Taking a shit. And what were you doing before that? Taking a shit. What have you all done tonight? I've hung out with her mm -hmm. and the babies. That is it. No. Okay. Did you ever leave the house? No. No? No. Okay. Why are other people saying otherwise? I have no idea. Okay. Baby! Stop, stop. Let her be, okay, man? Can I talk to my wife? Not Can I right kiss? now. Not right now. Are you injured anywhere else? No. Okay. I'm not at all. Okay, well, you know it's your car over there. It's not my car. I don't own a car. I'm not allowed to have a license. Dude, dude, dude. lying is not going to get you anywhere. I'm not allowed to have a license. Well, I'm what not the f do you not understand? I'm not allowed to have a license. I'm not allowed to have a license. I'm on the bracelet 
first five months of no bracelet, no GPS violations, no none of that. I'm trying to pass the bracelet. You want to hear what I wrote the Dutch? After putting Noah in the police cruiser, the officers later found the car keys and title that matched that of the car involved in the crash earlier on, and he was then taken to prison. Here is where we can see the true face of this guy. Hey, we gotta go now. Yep. Noah, we told you if... <laughs> Noah, we told you if you're no! gonna be... Baby, I love you! Baby! <laughs> Oh my god, wait till I get out, bitch. Wait till I get out. For wait what? Wait till I get out. Let's go over here. For what? No, why are you. Because! That's my son! He's. With me, bro. And you don't give a f. Because you respect your job, huh? No, we. What you make? No, we let what you, you say goodbye. What do you make an hour? That's irrelevant. What are you making an hour? That is 15. Wait till I get to the station. I don't give a fuck about none of y'all. Why? Even after they arrived at the station, Noah continued to act extremely irrationally. Dude, let me out, bro. Noah, have you ever gone through standardized field sobriety tests? Yes, dude. Okay. Let me the fuck out. You hurt my fuck. Be willing to participate Damn, you're in jail! Would you be willing to participate in Saturday Night Fever? Fucking LaCrosse County across the jail, across the fucking street! I don't give a I mean, fuck about your feelings. Right. What? What offense is this? Uh, this is no offense. Uh, I yeah. didn't do Four. shit. Okay. Bro. Take him off for the blood draw. Yeah, let's go! You mind standing by? Yep. Yep. Hands up. Don't you hurt me. Right, we got I him. swear to God, don't hurt me, bro. We got him I, I don't care. You can, you can do whatever. Side. Yep, Good. take my hands. Yep. Do whatever you got to do to me. Buffy, Just please don't hurt me. Please. Right. Please don't hurt me. We're not. Noah was later charged with felonies for driving under the influence and misdemeanors for disorderly conduct, operating with a revoked license and failing to use an ignition interlock device. However, teens thinking they can lie their way out of a situation continues and gets even more dangerous. Check it. Put my stuff in it. Gotta go. Check your wall before you put stuff in it. No, Come on, man. Long time ago. Come on. On May 18, 2018, an 18-year-old Franklin High School student was called to the principal's office in the morning because he smelled like marijuana. When he found out that the school was going to look in his bag, he confessed that there might be something else inside. However, when the school staff checked, they saw something that immediately made them notify the Seattle Police Department. Okay. This is vile. Okay. Uh, first, I don't know you guys being audio video recorded. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I haven't checked the rest of the backpack, Letter. but Letter. the first pocket I checked, I could feel it. Okay. It's right there. Oh. All right. All right. What, what did he say? I mean, what? He had left the bag in the room, oh, okay. and so when I um, said, I'm going to need to go get your bag because he smells like marijuana. In the classroom. In the, the classroom. It was in the classroom. So he was saying, I, he looked real nervous, and I said, do you have something in your bag that you shouldn't have? And he, I said, marijuana? And he goes, not marijuana. And he goes, well, I just don't know. Like, there might be something in there. There might be something in there. So... Okay. And the, the, I know that 911 officer asked me if it's loaded, and I said, I'm not going to mess with you here at school. After a brief search, officers found a fully loaded gun in his bag, which is quite scary, especially with the number of school shootings that have been going on. He doesn't have much history with us. No. I mean, is he... He's, he's in the gun now, is he? Right. I just... He's got considerable school history. Okay, that's what I'm yeah, curious yeah. about. Mostly marijuana incidents. Any gang stuff. Not to my no, I don't know if it's being clicked over. There's a lot of home stuff going on right now that he um, is like staying at home and mom's having a difficult time with him, but that's about it. Although he had no past criminal records, the fact that he had been having issues with his mom and was refusing to sleep at home is more than enough to prove that he might be in a tricky situation. The officers then did a thorough search of the bag and later found out that the gun was stolen before confronting the young man about the contents of the bag. Why are we here? So, I got called down for the four referrals that I got in the last week. Uh, they said I smelled like weed 
and then they went to go get my backpack. They asked me that I have weed in my backpack. I said, oops, I might have weed in my backpack, saying basically, yeah, I have weed. And then they came down and they searched me. Then there was a gun in my backpack, and I did not know nothing about it. And I was lost and confused about everything. And then they called you guys down here. Okay. You didn't know there was a gun in your backpack? No, sir. Is it your backpack? Mm. Yes, sir. How would a gun get in there? I was at my cousin's. I spent the night there. He went out, came back. I, when I woke up to school, grabbed it, left, came here. What's your cousin's name? Ronald. 25. He's 25? Where does he live? He lives in Des Moines. In Des Moines? You spent the night there last night? Yes, sir. Who else was with you? Just me and him. Just you and him? Yeah. Okay. So, they're saying that you said there might be a gun in my backpack. No, I said there might be weed in my backpack. I was referring to the weed the whole time. I did not know there was weed in my backpack. At this point, the young man's story was getting all too sketchy, and since he refused to tell the truth about the stolen gun, the officers then decided to confront him about another item they found on him. Who is Mohammed Abdi? And who is Caleb Wartz? That's Caleb ID. He goes here. I got that. Why is it in your wallet? Because that's my friend Caleb. Why do you have his ID? Because he left it at the gym, and I picked it up. I'm not supposed to give it to him. Okay, why do you have somebody else's credit card? That, I don't know. That I had a new wallet. Picked it up from my house. It's always been in there. Never used it. You realize it's a compelling. It's a wow. crime just to possess somebody else's I didn't, credit card? I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. This isn't a new wallet, man. This is a, this wallet's pretty beat up and old. I from my cousins. It was at his house. Picked it up. It's a wallet. Didn't and check it, put my stuff in it, gotta go. Check your wallet before you put stuff in it? No, Come on, it was a man. long time ago. Come on. After listening to all that the high schooler had said, the police officers decided that they had had enough. Okay, you're under arrest, okay? The firearm is stolen, so you're in possession of a stolen firearm. That's what you are under arrest for right now, it's a felony. While the 18-year-old was arrested and taken to jail, another officer continued with the investigation and soon found out the truth about the suspect that would eventually expose him. So, and then Kelly about to go out, get a male security, go do a search on him. But he said it's okay for us to do a search. So, as he emptied his pocket, I said, do, do, do you have anything on you that you're not supposed to bring to school? He said, at first he said no. And I said, are you sure? And then later on, he said, I mean, just his face. Because you know? I said, I need to go get your bag. Yeah. That's when he Kelly said, I need to go get your bag. Where your bag at? So he said, oh. I said, what? You have weed in your backpack? He said, no. I said, man, what? He said, uh, something I'm not supposed to do. I said, what, gun? He said, yeah. And that's when I said, uh, Mr. O'Connor is in there. I said, Mr. Cohen, I'll sit here with him. I'm going with Kelly to the classroom to retrieve the backpack. Mm -hmm. So we brought a backpack in there, and he sit on the chair. Kelly turned the backpack, and he didn't see, I didn't see the gun. The very first pocket I felt, I didn't pull it out. I just felt it, and I knew it was in there. So okay. while they was out, he was in there calling somebody on the phone. I don't know who he was talking to, but he told him, hey, man, I'm about to go to jail. Uh, I have a gun in my backpack. It's loaded, and I got more time on that. It's loaded. So I say, if you say you don't know the gun in your backpack, how you know it's loaded? It was the gun loaded though? Yeah, oh yeah, with one in the chamber and the safety off. So he he knows it's in the backpack. So that's why he knows it's loaded. I can tell the safety was off, sir. Yeah. It is evident that the suspect had decided to lie long before the police arrived, thinking it would get him out of trouble. However, choosing to lie instead of cooperating with the officers only made things worse for him. Finally, the student was arrested for unlawful possession of a firearm and stolen property. The police investigation did not find any indications that there was a threat of violence against the school. But if you thought teens getting caught ends here, you certainly don't know this case. But you were told to leave numerous times. I told you to leave. I I told you, you don't come back in the store. I told you not to come back in. And then you came back in. I don't get to eat all day. 
I'm hungry. I'm gonna get food if I need to get food, bro. It's like that. I don't Why care. Don't have lunch? On October 18th, 2023, Fall Rivers police were called to a CVS pharmacy at 1620 President Avenue because a bunch of kids were causing trouble. But when the police got there, the kids had gone to a McDonald's restaurant. Inside the McDonald's, the staff told the police that the kids couldn't stay because they had been fighting before coming in. However, it didn't seem like the teenagers were ready to comply. <laughs> From the manager, if you just walked in, time to leave, or you're gonna be subject to trespass and we'll be arrested. I gave you the warning before you came in, they didn't want you in here. Time to leave, folks. Time to leave. I'm not playing, time to go. Time to go. One, two, six, four. I've got any more cars at McDonald's. They want you out, man. It's not, I'm telling you to go. All right? You don't want to go? You want to give me a hard time? No problem. You want to give me a hard time? Because how many times did I say time to go? I want to use the bathroom. How many times? If you don't start leaving, my handcuffs are coming on. First person I grab is going. Despite being warned that they would be arrested for trespassing, the group adamantly refused to leave, thinking the officer wouldn't do anything. As the events unfolded, a police officer approached one of the teens waiting to order food and told him that he needed to go. And this was when the situation began to escalate. No, it's time to go. I know you just didn't say what I think you said. It's time to go. I'm not playing around now. Listen, from the manager, he wants everybody out. Okay? So you need to start leaving. You... I'm telling you that. Okay? I already taught the manager. So you need to start leaving, or we're going to start locking people up. No. No, we have other people I've here. here. Alright, time to go. Time to go. Alright, order first and then leave. Time to go. Right. I know why. Huh? I know why. Because you don't want anybody in here. So you mean mad people to stay here, but I know We're kicking everybody out. We've got more cars right. coming. There's all these other people here. So I order, so get them out. But right now, I'm talking to you. So you're dick riding. Yep, time to go. Yeah, so you're dick riding. So you're dead. What is it? Oh, so you're gay. Go. You're not going back in. No, who are you touching, bro? I'm touching you. You're not going back in. Time to go. No, he's not. You're about to go. He's not coming in. He's not coming in. You're not coming in. Go for my good again. That dog can't touch me. No problem. Yeah, I want to what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna lock you up. Speech, you're gonna get locked up. You're gonna get locked up. Hold 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 up. It is unbelievable to see such entitlement coming from children at this young age. Even after several warnings, they still refused to leave the premises, eventually leading the officers to pick them one after the other. Last time, all the cruisers in the city are coming. If you're not saying that in, you're standing, time to go. You, you're under arrest. What? You're under arrest. You're under arrest. What's wrong with you, bro? Down here, go on the ground. I said, fuck! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Get up off me. During the arrest, the teenagers started getting involved by gathering around the officers and trying to interrupt. However, seven other juveniles were arrested and charged with trespassing, assault, and battery on a police officer. Please, don't let your kids become like the people we've seen in this video. If you enjoyed this video, check out this next one, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.